Welcome back to the Rum Brothers. Today we have another rum that we are going to review for you. A very special rum. What have we got today, guys? Today we've got the Barbon Court 15 year old. Whoa. When we last reviewed a Barbon Court, we reviewed the Barbon Court 8 year and we didn't really like it. And a lot of you out there were like, what's going on, guys? You guys are dumb. What's up with that? <laughs> we didn't mean to offend anybody. We didn't mean to offend I Haiti. Did. So we're going to come back to it one day, but today. We've heard great things about the 15 year old, so we wanted to give that a shot. This is a redemption video. Yes, a redemption video. So it's 86 proof, 43% alcohol, um, and a limited quantity is released every year. People call this the cognac of rums. So it must be darn good. And it's distilled twice in copper pot stills and then aged in white oak barrels. Haitian rum in the French style, so it's a little bit different than mm -hmm. what we're used to. Yeah, I mean, off the bat, this smells great. So with the other 15s we re reviewed, it's always been like barrel, deep spice yeah. flavor. O oaky spice. And um, this one, it's kind of like a mellow, crisp, well-rounded, without any harshness to it. Um, yeah. So I'm excited to try it. Yeah, some subtle spice. You can tell it's aged. You got that sweet. And it's a pretty light color too for for the age. So you're not using molasses, and that is the French style, using that fresh fresh sugar cane juice, get a little more grassy earthiness to it. What I wanted in the eight year, which is why I was so excited for the eight year, and then it didn't go so well. So let's try it. All, All right. right, cheers. All right. It's hotter than I expected. It is. But I really like it. Yeah, it's got that I, same different profile because it's the Haitian style. Off the bat, I'm like, okay, this is a good rum. And I kind of, you know, I, I don't mind the little heat as long as it doesn't linger too long and it doesn't. And it's just kind of that that freshness, that, that earthy grassiness to it. Yeah. And the oak spice isn't overbearing. So I'm gonna put a little water, see if that opens up any of the flavors. Yeah, the flavors really open up with a little bit of water. The first mouthful is a little bit harsh and intense, but the second, the third, it's more about the flavor. You get over the proof and it's very nice. Definitely a sipping rum. Don't mix this. Yeah, I think it's good. I think later on down the road, we should do a video comparing this with the Appleton 15 and the El Dorado 15. You know, get all the, do a 15 year old comparison. This is completely different from the other two. Yes. So price, this is 50 to 70 US dollars. So it is expensive. What do we think about it at that price point? Out of 10. Well, at that price point, I feel like, personally, I like the El Dorado 15 and the Appleton, Appleton, the Appleton 15. I think I like those two better and they're about, 10 bucks cheaper, but this is a very unique style. I almost, I don't even know if you could compare them. They're all rums, but this is a very different style. Out of 10, I think I'd probably give it a, like a solid seven, seven and a half. That's kind of where I am too. It, it is a different rum and it, you know, it, it kind of serves the, the drier palate who doesn't like that that molasses taste that doesn't mind that that bit of rawness, the earthiness, the grassiness, and a bit of a bit of heat. I don't know if people can hear you when you talk that quietly. This would be interesting <laughs> to pair with a cigar. That's true. In the Caribbean, you know, where all that tobacco is grown. I think we enjoyed it. Tell us what you think of this. The Barb and Court 15. I hope all the haters come back and take a look at this video. Take that, haters. We've enjoyed having you here. Please come back again and watch another wonderful video that we put out. Join us, won't you?